The Untold Truth About the Last Alaskan Star, Bob Hart Bob Hart was an American trapper, hunter, fisherman, and TV personality, born on the 23rd of January, 1951, in New Jersey, USA. He was known for appearing in the reality TV show, The Last Alaskans, until his death in 2017. Bob was Vernon and Eleanor Hart's only son. Growing up in Jersey City, he played baseball, but was fascinated by outdoor activities such as hunting and fishing, developing a sense of independence from an early age. In his youth, Bob's grandfather was in charge of teaching him construction skills, which he utilized later in life. There's not much information about Bob's education, though it's known he attended college for a short time, dropping out when he chose the Alaskan lifestyle instead. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. It's known that he was an avid motorcycle rider, experienced firearms holder, and plane pilot, though the exact times he learned those skills is uncertain. It's not certain when Bob became interested in the Alaskan lifestyle. However, it was initially aroused by books he read about it, leading him to move definitively to Southeast Alaska at 21 years of age. His first location was in a camping field near Wrangell, where he survived for a couple of years, apparently by trapping alone. Then he immersed himself into the north, in Fort Yukon, setting up a home in various places in the area. It was there that he became acquainted with various people leading the same lifestyle, including one of his closest friends, Hema Korth, who declared, March of 1976, that's when I first met Bob. After I got into town, there were seven of us trappers there, and we all loved hunting and trapping, and so we had that in common. It's suspected that during that time, Bob met Nancy Becker, who would later become his wife. Around 1977, and following an abandoned trap line, Bob found the place he would call home for the next 40 years, in Brooks Range, an extension of the Rocky Mountains and mostly uninhabited. Hart set his own trap line in the area, exploring it and living off the land for decades. It's uncertain exactly when Bob married Nancy Becker, though it's known that they welcomed their first and only daughter, Talisha, in 1984. By this time, Bob was settled in Brooks Range, and the family apparently lived separately in years past until they finally moved in with him, along with Nancy's son Steve from a previous marriage. Living with his family brought immense happiness to Bob, who recalled those times as his most precious memory, saying, Family is extremely important to me. I wouldn't want to be somebody with nothing, and I have something. In the early 1990s, Bob Hart traveled to Russia, participating in a trapper exchange between the U.S. and the Eastern European countries. Especially proud of such an accomplishment, Hart trapped and hunted with Russian families with the intent to cut the cultural and political gap that had separated the two nations for decades. Back in Alaska, Hart worked part-time as a carpenter in Fairbanks. Unfortunately, his marriage with Nancy ended at a time undisclosed, but despite this, his relationship with his daughter remained the same. Bob Hart's debut on TV was in The Last Alaskans, a reality documentary series which premiered on the 25th of May, 2015 on The Animal Planet. The show is centered on various families living in diverse, isolated areas of Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, the biggest natural shelter in the U.S. Although human occupation in this protected area was banned in 1980 by the government to protect its delicate ecosystem, seven people were granted occupation permits to remain living there. The Last Alaskans was well received by viewers, who were not only impressed by the show's production, but also by its star's lifestyle and its portrayal. As Neil Genslinger from the New York Times pointed out, unlike in our other shows, here the quest for sustenance are presented merely as facts of life. The compelling part of this series is the why. Why live like this? The answers vary, and though sometimes the subjects address the question directly, for the most part, their reasons emerge only slowly, as the patient camera lets you get to know them. The show was renewed in 2016 for its second season, now to air on sibling network Discovery Channel. Bob Hart's last appearance was in show's third season, aired in 2017. 
Talisha Hart suffered a car accident in 2006, leaving her disabled at 22 years old and requiring extensive hours of physical therapy. Her father, Bob, who loved her intensely, did his best to support her afterwards, recalling in an episode of The Last Alaskans, my daughter is a lot like me. She is a survivor. She's tough as nails. Talisha was a very active young woman, but then she had an accident. She became disabled from some guy talking on a cell phone, going broadside right into her. I'm 64 years old. I don't know how many years I have left, but I'd like to provide for my daughter. Although Talisha's romantic life and marital status is unknown, in 2016, she gave birth to Bob's only granddaughter, Cornella. He promised to build a cabin for them to live comfortably. Surviving by himself in an isolated place in Alaska, Bob Hart's life was often at risk. However, even before committing to living in the wilderness, he defied death in various ways, including being run over on his motorcycle, crashing his plane twice, lucky to live after shooting himself, and accidentally inundating his boat in freezing water. His life was at stake again when he underwent brain surgery and was diagnosed with cancer later in life. In each situation, his friends and family's joke about him having nine lives was proven true. After spending an entire day celebrating his life with his loved ones in Fairbanks on the 21st of July, 2017, Bob Hart died peacefully in his sleep at 66 years of age after battling with cancer for years. In 2018, Bob's daughter Talisha and her mom Nancy gave an interview to the Monsters and Critics news blog, guiding a tour through his cabin in the mountains while talking about their experience handling his death. Nancy also offered a heartfelt reflection on his departure. He established his home here and he loved it here. He and his dogs were here. He's a part of this whole area. It's not an ownership, his, he's a part of it. He's just a living entity with the land, with everything here. So it was his life, it was his joy, his delight, and where he found peace and happiness was right here. It was Bob. Bob Hart's estimated net worth was $600,000 at the time of his death, largely as a result of his appearances in the TV series, The Last Alaskans. Bob Hart was a man of white ethnicity with blonde hair and green eyes. He was a slender build, five feet nine inches or 1.75 meters tall, and weighed around 160 pounds or 72 kilograms. Bob Hart's favorite place was a high rock near his cabin in the mountains, which he named the Throne. He used to spend time there in solitude, admiring the landscape. In Bob's obituary, his family compared his life to Frank Sinatra's song, My Way. Bob loved his entire family and friends hugely and expressed being thankful to them before his untimely death. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.